And today we're going to look at doing a stoplight using a functional block diagram instead of a ladder logic diagram. Um, this is going to look very similar to the ladder diagram for a um, stoplight, but there are a few different things. Um, first, what we're going to do is grab a left power rail and bring it into our diagram. And just like the other one, I'm going to do an AND gate um, with my red and yellow lights turning on the green light. So our yellow light is um, digital output 1 and I put in here the names of the aliases so that it's easier to tell what's going on. So we have our yellow there and it's displaying in both that and yellow, but it's yellow. Let's grab another one for red. Our IOs, red, and then we want when those two are not on, then we'll have our green on. We're going to do a direct coil for this one so that when either of these two turn on, then this is false and the green light is off. Um, now I want to grab a block, so set a block in here, and just like the other one, we're going to go to our T on, on delay timing, and we'll run that to our input here. Uh, we're going to need a time variable, so we'll grab our variable block, set it in, and we'll it's going to ask what we want. We're going to close that out for now. Connect it up and then click on this box here and go capital T number. Let's go for simplicity five seconds. Then on our output, we're going to want to have it um, drive the yellow light on. So we're going to have a set coil for output. Our yellow variable here, and then functional block. We want to put a right power rail, and that should work. For our next um, kind of set of blocks, we're going to do another power rail. We'll do a direct contact, and this will be our yellow. So when this sets, then this. Um, direct contact will be true over here and we'll grab the same type of block for our timer T on we'll hook that up variable for time Nothing. Connect that and go T number two seconds. And then the output, we're going to want a set coil for red, red to turn on. And we're also going to want a reset coil for yellow. It'll turn yellow off. Don't want this in here, so we'll delete that out. Want this to connect up to there, and we're going to want to write power rail now here. And these two can connect to it. Um, finally, the red light timer. So we're going to grab the power rail, the uh, contact for red. and our on delay time. So when it sees a input high for the number of seconds that I give it, then it will turn on the output. On delay time. And 
distance again, variable for time. Close that. Connect that and give this seven seconds. So it's symmetrical. And finally, we're just going to have a reverse on red. Turn red off, which will make the first line true. So green will go back on, and the cycle should repeat. And right power on. So this is what it should look like. Looks very similar to the ladder logic, um, but it's a little bit different. And we'll go here and go to build and make sure it builds correctly. And it worked. All right, here we're using the Micro 810 Allen Bradley to implement a stoplight. We have three LEDs, the green, yellow, and red. The green holds it for five seconds. The yellow holds it for two seconds. And the red holds it for seven seconds. And we are using implementing timers for this to work properly. And that's about it.